So in this lesson, we are going to solve this question I have here on the screen. The question says that determine the internal forces transmitted in intervals A, B, B, C, and C, D of the bar shown below. Also, determine the stress at each interval if the bar has a constant cross section area of what? 100 pm square. Okay, so let's look at how we are going to solve this question. So we are to determine the internal forces transmitted in these intervals A, B, B, C, and then C, D. Okay, so let's look at how we are going to draw this. Okay, so to draw this, I'm going to consider each interval and then the external forces acting on it. Then we will indicate the we will indicate the internal force. Okay, which is the internal reaction. Okay, this is supposed to be A here. Okay, so we have point A here, point B, point C, and then point D. Okay, so you have to find the internal forces transmitted between point A and B. Okay, point B and C, and then point towards C and D. So we have to do is to cut this bar. Okay, so we're going to draw uh, the line of cut between the intervals. Okay, so considering interval A, B, we are going to cut in between what A and B and then calculate for the internal reactions between them. So let's look at how we are going to do this. So assume we have cut between the intervals A B. Okay. So we've cut it this way. So this is A here. This is A here, which is what 60 kilo newton. Okay. So you are going to indicate the internal reaction okay so the internal reaction will be the the normal force okay to be perpendicular to the plane of cut so that means it will form an angle of 90 degrees to the plane of cut so that'll be a normal internal reaction so that'll be n a b okay so the reason i chose this direction is because um you see the only external force here is what is this 60 kN here, okay, and it is acting the negative y axis direction, okay. And the internal force or the internal reaction is to balance this 60 kN here. So, what that means here is that it is going to act in a direction opposite to that of this 60 kN here. So, that's why it is pointing to the positive x axis direction. So, if this is negative, this will be what will be positive because what the internal reaction is going to balance the the bar here okay so the sum of the forces on it must be what equal to what zero or the force pointing to the left side must be equal to what the force pointing to the right side just that they are signs will be different okay the one pointing to the left will be negative and then the one pointing to the right will be what positive so from here all we have to do is to take the sum of the forces in the x axis direction okay so that would be equal to zero because the system is considered to be in what equilibrium. So we have minus 60 kilo newton plus NAB. Okay, to be equal to what zero. That's for some of the forces. Okay, some of the forces in the x direction. Okay, so when you do this, you get NAB to be equal to 60 kilo newton. Okay. To be equal to what? 60 kilo newton. So you see that NAB is positive and then the other force here, which is the external force is what? It's negative. So NAB is just coming to balance the external force. So that's the value of what? NAB. Okay, so now we are going to find the internal force between what b and c okay so let me name here between a and b and then now you are going to find between what b and then c so to find between b and c you are going to make the cut between b and c okay and then indicate the internal reaction so let's do this so i've made the cut here 
I have my B here, which is 80 kilonewton. And then I have my A here, okay, which is 60 kilonewton. Okay, so I'm going to choose a direction for the internal reaction. Okay, so at this point, we are going to assume the direction of the internal reaction here. Okay, because you can't really tell which direction it will be. So our final answer will tell us the direction. If it is positive, it will be pointing this way. But if it is negative, then it will be pointing this way. So let's find out. We are going to choose or assume a direction first. Okay, so doing this, I'll consider the direction to be in this direction. So I'll name this NBC. Okay, so this is NBC. So now I want to find NBC. So we are going to sum all the forces in the X direction. So sum of forces in the X direction. That will be the external force here is negative. So that would negative 60 kilonewton. And then this 80 kN is also an external force, that's what positive, so that was plus 80 kN plus NBC. This will be equal to zero. Okay, so simplifying this, we'll have what? Minus 60 plus 80, that gives us what? 20. So 20 plus NBC. To be equal to zero okay so then you have what n bc to be equal to what minus 20 kilonewton okay so that will be the value of what n bc okay so now you see that n bc is negative okay, which means the direction that we assume this what is the other way around so nbc to rather point in the negative text as this direction okay so if you are to draw a diagram we will have to change the direction of nbc okay so in this case i'm going to change it here so that's what the direction of nbc what's happening here is that okay when you sum all the forces moving in the negative x direction okay and all the forces in the positive x direction you get the same value just that they would what opposite okay those pointing to the left side will be negative and then those pointing to the right side but positive let's look at that so in this case cc is pointing is pointing to the left side okay which is the is pointing towards what the negative x as so that what minus 60 kilonewton and then NBC is also pointing towards the negative x axis direction, so that was minus what 20, right? Okay, and then this 80 is pointing to, to the positive side, which is what the positive x axis, so that one is what 80. So when I add this, we have what minus 80, and then this is what 80. So you see that what, on the left hand side, we got negative value, which is to tell us the direction. Okay, the negative only tells us the direction, then. On the right side, you got positive. Okay, it tells us the direction. So, if I when you add these two forces, I'm going to get to a zero. So that that will cause the the bar here to be what, to be balanced. So that's why the direction of the normal was in this direction. Okay. So now let's do same for interval CD. So for interval CD, let me draw the the bar here okay so that means we are going to make the cut here right okay so when you do this i have my a here which is pointing in this direction that's what 60 kilonewton and then i have my b here which is pointing here that's what 80 kilonewton and then i have my c here Okay. It's also pointing the direction that's what 50 kilo newton, and then I have the internal reaction. So in this case, you are still going to assume the, the direction. So I'll consider it to be in this direction. So that was NCD. Okay, so that'll be NCD. Okay, so now let's find the value of what NCD.
okay so we are going to sum all the forces in the x direction right okay so that would be equal to minus 60 kilo newton plus 80 minus 50 plus ncd okay and that should be equal to what? zero so let's simplify this so minus 60 minus 50 that will give you minus 110 okay plus 80 plus ncd should be equal to zero so let's simplify this and find ncd so minus 110 plus 80 we do this what minus 30 so minus 30 plus ncd equals zero so then you have what ncd to be equal to what 30 kilo newton you see that ncd is what is positive which means what the direction we assume is what is is correct okay should it have been negative then you have to change the direction okay so now we'll be able to find the the internal reactions for each of the cut section okay so we then go ahead and then finish with the question So let's continue. Now we are being asked to find the stress at each interval if the bar has a constant cross section area of 100 cm squared. So you have to determine the stress okay across what each cross section okay at the stress at for each cut. So for this cut you are going to determine the stress here. Same for this BC, okay, and then same for uh ncd so you're going to determine the stresses okay for each of the internal reaction okay and the stress is giving us what the normal reaction over what the area okay the normal reaction over what the area so to copy for the stress for for the normal force nab that be the force right so that was 60 kilo newton divided by what the area okay we're given that the area is constant okay so that means the area across the the cut sections of the bar is what 100 cm squared okay so that be divided by what 100 cm squared okay so this will be the expression for the stress okay so this will be equal to 60 Kilo Newton. Kilo is 1000, so that will be 16 times what? 1000. Multiply what? Newton. Okay, divided by what? Divided by 100 cm squared. Okay, so let's see the conversion for this. 1 cm squared equals 0 0.0001 meter squared okay so 100 cm squared would be equal to what we just have to multiply 100 by 0 0.001 okay 0 0.0001 so that gives us a value of what 0 0.01 meter squared okay so this will be divided by what 0 0.0 zero one meter squared so when i simplify this this will give me six times 10 to the power six newton per meter squared okay then this 10 to the power six here it is as what mega okay so mega is represented with m and that's equal to what 10 to the power 6. So you can write this answer as what? 6 mega newton per meter squared or 
6 6 mega pascal okay because stress can be measured in what pascal and then looking at the direction of the normal reaction here okay that's moving away from let's say this point here okay so you are going to consider it to be in what in tension so that be in tension so you are going to do the same for the remaining normal internal reactions okay so for the second normal reaction okay for the second normal reaction we are going to have 20 times thousand right that's 20 kilo newton divided by the the cross-sectional area right so that's 100 cm squared okay so that would be equal to what 20 times thousand that would be 20 thousand okay divided by what 0 0.01 meter squared okay let's not forget the new thing so when we do this this will give us 2 times 10 to the power 6 newton meter squared newton meter squared or you can see to what 2 mega pascal okay and let's look at the direction of nbc okay you see that it is pointing let's say towards the point of origin okay let's say it is pointing towards here so that was compression okay so that'll be compression okay let's do same for the normal normal force ncd okay we are going to do the same for ncd too okay, so for ncd you have the force to be 30 kilo newton okay that's 30 times what thousand okay divided by what the cross section area okay so that was 100 cm squared so this will be called to what 30,000 okay that will be what 30,000 divided by what 0 0.01 so that's meter squared and then a newton so doing this just give us what This will give us eight times x to the power six newton meter squared or three mega pascal. And then look at the direction. Okay, look at the direction, it will be in what tension. Okay, so we have a tension here. So those will be the, the stress for each of what the normal force. Thank you very much for watching this video.